Hello students, how are you? I hope you all are enjoying good health. Welcome to the SST class of 2nd standard. Lesson 15, Essential Means of Transport. Before proceeding further, we will have a quick review of what we have learned in the previous class. We have learned the meaning of transport, different means of transport, Different modes of transport. Transport means to travel from one place to another. Land transport. Transport that moves on land. Modes of land transport in villages. Bullock cart, tonga, cycle. Modes of land transport in jungles. Elephants and horses. Modes of land transport in deserts, camels. Modes of land transport in cities, car, truck, train, bus, metro train, auto rickshaw, cycle, rickshaw. Most of the modes of land transport run on petrol or diesel. Modes of air transport. Air transport. Transport that moves in air. Modes of air transport are helicopter, aeroplane, air jet, hot air balloon, parachute. Helicopter, air jet and aeroplane run on white patrol. Hot air balloon and parachute are used by the people for recreational purposes. Students, today I am going to discuss modes of water transport. Water transport. Transport that moves on water. Modes of water transport are ship, boat, submarine, etc. Modes of water transport run on steam or diesel. Ship. It is big in size. So, large number of people can travel together in it. Ship use three types of fuel. Heavy fuel oil, low fuel oil and diesel oil. Different countries have different rules for burning fuel when the ship is at that place. Motorboat. Motorboats are commonly used for recreation or racing. Submarine. Submarine goes... Underwater, some small submarines are used for scientific or business purposes. So students, I had discussed the modes of land transport, water transport and air transport. With the help of these modes, we can go from one place to another in a short time. Now it's a time to discuss important terms. Water transport. Transport that moves on water. Example, ship, boat, etc. Now it's a reading time. So students, open your book at page 74. Let's start reading. Mother. Santosh, do you remember the boating we did in Udaipur Lake? Santosh. Yes, mummy. That was a great fun. Now, mother told Santosh about the boating that they did in Udaipur Lake. Mother, the boat forms part of water transport. Boat is a water transport. And what is the meaning of water transport? Transport that moves on water like ship, boat, submarine, etc. It is used when one has to travel over water. Underline travel, write down the meaning, move. But when a large number of people have to travel together, then they use a ship. Underline together, write down the meaning jointly. As the size of the ship is very big. So, in ship, large number of people can travel together. Daddy. So, Santosh. We have land, air and water transport. These forms of transport are used by people in different parts of the country according to their choice 
and needs. Underline choice, write down the meaning, option. Underline needs, write down the meaning, requirements. Or in Hindi, we can say, zarurte. So students, we have land, air and water transport. The selection of different means of transport depend on your choice or option. It means you can choose any means of transport according to your wish. At the same time, it depends on your need also, on your requirement also. If you have plenty of time, you can go by car, bus or train. But if you have short or less time or you have to reach early, then you will select fast mode of transport like aeroplane, trains, like Shtabdi, etc. Even you should have enough money also for the selection of means of transport as air transport is more expensive than land transport. So students, I hope the meaning of this line is clear to you. All these are the essential means of transport. So I have discussed all the essential means of transport. What is the meaning of essential? Important. And what is the meaning of transport? Means to travel from one place to another. Now it's a time to read fact. In Britain, people known as lollipop men and women help children cross dangerous roads outside schools. Underline dangerous, write down the meaning likely to cause damage. Now, see the picture of lollipop men and women in Britain. They help the children to cross the dangerous roads. So students, I hope this chapter is clear to you. Now your homework is to read page 75 again. Watch this video. And do exercise A and B of writing June on page 77. Thank you.